This story grabbed national headlines in 2017. Two teen girls in Indiana went missing while they were out on a hiking trail. They were found dead the next day. And today is the third anniversary of the disappearance of Liberty German and Abigail Williams, and the search for the killer is still on. Liberty's mother lives in Lexington, and she talked to us about her push for more answers as the investigation continues. It's the big story at 530. Three years ago can seem like a lifetime or yesterday for a mother grieving her child. It was a, a very warm day for February. They had the day off school. They wanted to go take pictures, hang out. Carrie Timmons' daughter, Liberty, who went by Libby, had just turned 14. Our birthdays were two days apart. Um, right at Christmas time. Libby and her friend, 13 year old Abigail, who was Abby to everyone who knew her, were out on a hiking trail in Delphi, Indiana. When it was time for the girls to head home, they didn't make it to the spot where they were to be picked up. The following day, the girls' bodies were discovered off the hiking trails near a bridge. And I don't understand. Timmons lived in Harrodsburg, Kentucky at the time. Her parents had custody of Libby in Indiana. Since the investigation started three years ago, Timmons has tried to follow closely. I mean, we're still moving on because we're, we're determined to find this killer. I believe he's still out there and the way he did this and the way he's gotten away with it all this time, I'm worried he'll do it again. The man police zeroed in on is seen here. Libby was taking videos on her phone while she and Abby were out that day. She focused in on this man and seemingly for a good reason. She must have known something was happening. She wouldn't have focused on him. In addition to the images captured of the man, police have audio of the man's voice from the cell phone video. And last summer, this composite sketch was produced. Though investigators have released the visuals and the clip of the man's voice, they have yet to determine who this man is. I don't want any other mother to go through this. This is honestly the worst thing in the world to have to deal with. And not having answers is probably the worst part because my brain fills in all the holes or attempts to fill in all the holes. Despite the pain it brings, she wants to keep the girls' names out there and keep the story alive. In an effort to generate more tips and keep this case top of mind, Carrie Timmons is also part of a podcast that launched last week. We've got a link to more information about the podcast along with this story on lex18.com.